Welcome to my CBSC English teacher. Today let's look at the line by line explanation of the poem Father to Son from class 11 English. If you are watching my video for the first time, consider subscribing. You can listen to the explanations of lessons from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. The poem Father to Son is written by Elizabeth Jennings. The poem is autobiographical in nature and describes the relationship between a father and his son. About the poet, Elizabeth Jennings was born in Boston, Lincolnshire, but moved to Oxford at the age of six, where she lived for the rest of her life. She studied at St. Annie's College, Oxford, and worked in advertising at the City Library and briefly in publishing before becoming a full-time writer. Let's look at the poem now, the first answer. I do not understand this child, though we have lived together now in the same house for years. I know nothing of him, so try to build up a relationship from how he was when small. So in this stanza, the father is sharing about his agony. He has a lot of pain because he is not happy with the kind of relationship that he is sharing with his son. So he is saying, I do not understand this child. So why is he saying, I do not understand this child? This child means his own son. Now why is he not telling, I do not understand my son? He could have said that. But he is saying that, I do not understand this child. He says this child because he feels that he is not at all connected to that son in any manner. He is saying that he does not understand his child. He is saying that he cannot understand what his own child is. And he is saying that though we have lived together now in the same house for years. So he is feeling very sad and he is fully in pain. And he is saying that though both of us have been living in the same house for many years together, he is unable to understand his child. I know nothing of him. So he is saying that I do not know anything about him. So the father is also trying to tell us that he does not know what his son likes and what he dislikes. So try to build up a relationship from how he was when small. So he is saying that so now he is trying to build up a relationship with his son from when how he was when he was small. So he is trying to build up a relationship so that this communication gap between them is gone and so that he is able to he will be able to understand his son in a better way. And he also feels that his son has changed a lot because he has grown up now. Stanza 2 Yet have I killed the seed I spent or sown it where the land is his and none of mine we speak like strangers. There is no sign of understanding in the air. The child is built to my design, yet what he loves I cannot share. Here the father is trying to tell about his own faults. He is saying that yet have I killed the seed I spent or sown it where. So here the seed and sown and spent all refers to his own efforts. So he is saying that is he responsible for killing his own efforts of trying to develop the relationship between him and his son. He is saying this because he knows that there is no communication at all between him and his son. Because he is saying he feels that his son is totally aloof from him. He is looking as if he is growing up in a totally different region with totally different likes and dislikes which are foreign to him and which he does not know at all. So in short, the father is trying to blame himself for the communication gap that has been built up between him and his son. And that is why he feels that his son is not even accessible to him. He says, we speak like strangers. There is no sign of understanding in the air. So he is saying that both he and his son, though they are living under the same roof for years together, we speak like strangers. So how do strangers speak? They speak very little or they don't speak at all. So he feels that his son is a stranger to him. There is no understanding in the air. So he is saying that even when they both are sitting together or when they are close by, there is not even one single point of understanding between them. They are just like total strangers to each other. 
this child is built to my design so he is saying that his son looks exactly like him so it is obvious any child will look like its father so he is saying that though the son is looking like me but yet what he loves i cannot share so he is saying that i cannot like what he likes or what i like he is unable to like so they are totally different from each other in every way so that is why he is feeling very sorry that he is not able to understand his own child and there is no communication at all between them and they live like total strangers in the same house for many years together so let's look at the third stanza silence surrounds us I would have him prodigal returning to his father's house the home he knew rather than see him make and move his world I would forgive him too shaping from sorrow a new love So here the father is telling silence surrounds us that means always whenever the father and the son are sitting together or whenever they are close by what is there always around them there is only silence that means they are not at all talking to each other i would have him prodigal returning to his father's house so what's the meaning of prodigal prodigal means someone who is spending a lot of money without any thought so he's saying that i don't mind my son being a prodigal son that means i don't mind him spending whatever money is there with him i would have him prodigal returning to his father's house the home he knew so the father is trying to say that i don't mind him being a prodigal son but i would definitely want him to return to my own house the home he knew because he knows the house because he has been growing up in that house and he knows every uh, nook and corner of the house very well so he wants his son back to come and stay with him in a very uh, with a very good relationship with his father rather than see him make and move his world so he is saying that i don't want him to move out of this house and make his own new world i would like him to come back and stay with me in this very own house where he has grown up i would forgive him too shaping from sorrow a new love so the father is saying that he is ready to forgive him for whatever he has done because he wants the distance between them to be reduced he wants to be very close to his son and he wants to start a very uh, he wants to start a very good relationship between him and his son and what kind of relationship a relationship that is shaped from love so he wants to love his son and in return be loved by his son too so let's look at the fourth stanza father and son we both must live on the same globe and the same land he speaks i cannot understand myself why anger grows from grief we put out an empty hand longing for something to forgive so here the father speaks saying that we both must live on the same globe and the same land so he knows that both the father and son must live together wherever they are it will be on the same globe and the same land so he wants them to live together with happiness and he speaks he speaks here it is the son who is speaking for the first time so what is he saying i cannot understand myself why anger grows from grief so the son is saying that he cannot understand why he becomes angry whenever he is in grief grief means great sorrow so why is the son talking about grief that means he also has some kind of frustration because of the kind of relationship that he is sharing with his father he is also not happy with the relationship that he has with his father so both the father and son are not really happy with the kind of relationship they have with each other we each put out an empty hand we each means both father and son they put out an empty hand why this empty hand empty hand means they always try to find a solution to their problem and they are unable to find any kind of solution to it so that is why they say we put out an empty hand longing for something to forgive so both of them want to forgive each other and start a new life with a very good relationship or with a new love so both the father and son have understood their relationship they are very frustrated or sad because of the kind of relationship they have with each other and they are ready to forgive each other and start a new life a life that is made of love and nothing else but love 
what is the meaning of longing here longing here means greatly in need so both the father and son are greatly in need of forgiving each other they want to forgive each other and start a new life in a happy manner so let's look at the poetic devices used in this poem metaphor is used alliteration is used and simile is also used metaphor you can find in lines like yet have i killed the seed i spent or sown where the land is his and none of mine alliteration in the seed i spent or sown and silence surrounds us in simile we speak like strangers so these are the poetic devices used i hope you like today's video for more interesting videos do subscribe to my cbse english teacher like share comment and subscribe thank you for watching